Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? This is going to be a little review of Crymira, a new game that came out not too long ago, a few days ago. I played this around a little bit. It's not bad. Uh, it's an action ARPG. It's in the Unity engine, so um, it's not too bad for a Unity game. Basically, you get dropped into this little area, and uh, you have no idea what you're doing, so you talk to the guy, you get your quest, uh, you come over here, get your equipment, uh, then the next thing is you're going to be coming around and you're going to be looking for traps. Uh, you find out the traps are not there, so you have to go on a mission to save your village, which is going to take you uh, down to uh, another area where you have to take the little boat across. So you learn that these tars are attacking. And you come up and you find the military. I don't know if you guys can see the stuttering or not in the final product, but normally the stuttering is not there. For some reason, my video capture is eating my resources. So this is the army, and they're telling you about the tour. And they're going to tell you to go to your village so that you can get everybody to the south to a fort. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to show you the mechanics, really. Uh, you have all your hotbar down here on the right-hand side. Uh, on the bottom, it's going to tell you your level, your HP. Uh, it'll tell you how many action points you have once the battle actually starts, things like that. The action can get a little slow. But from what I've played, it seems to have a pretty decent storyline. <laughs> Some of the things that you can uh, say and be said to you are pretty funny. I know in one part it talks about a, a fat black bitch in leather. Uh, and the tours can uh, either eat you or fuck you. I know that. So we talk to this dude, tell him we gotta go to the village to save everybody. Come up here, you talk to this lady. I mean, even some of the dialogue to choices that you can say for this chick is, um, is pretty good. Like right here, um, let's see. We'll tell her... Can we stay here? Lucky me, me and you, you know we could do a little something. I heard the beds in the ship are so comfortable. And then she says, it must be the heat. Uh, how about a nice big big cup of shut the fuck up? The writing in this game is hilarious. Um, there's other things that we can do uh, that you'll see. But essentially, you come down through the, the little village here. And there'll be some combat in the next area. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here in the village. The first time I played, um, you can talk to all these people, but there's really nothing that they say. It's kind of a straightforward just go. Uh, this game reminds me a lot of, say, uh, like Wasteland 2. Things like that. Like I said, though, it is, it's a pretty decent game. Over here, we're going to encounter a dog. Oh, wait. Shoot. I forgot to equip my weapon. So I'm going to get my pipe. Which is going to take a ton of AP points. Uh, which it takes way more than what it needs. But the combat feels decent. <laughs> Shield in your turn. And you can also change between real time and uh, turn based, essentially. And I killed the dog. And the turn will take me out of combat mode. And I'm going to come over here because there's a couple of guys over here. But it's set up basically like any other ARPG with uh, action points, things like that, that you can use. Die, There's a couple guys over fucker. here somewhere. Where's he at? Might be the dogs. Be... Oh, there they are. So, I'm gonna come over here. One gripe I do have about this game is everyone moves so slow during combat, which I mean, I get it, but. If you're in combat, you want to move. You don't want to have to wait. And you're 
comrades don't seem to be too bad either. The AI is, is pretty decent. They'll start attacking. See, like, they just killed that guy. By the time I get over here, this guy's pretty much gonna be dead. He has a hedgehog, or a headhog. You know, hedgehog. Oh, it's a trap. Some nuts and a hot spray weapon. So let's take. Let's try the hot spray weapon. That seems to be pretty cool. I'll try that. I'm trying to come up here and fight these dogs. And I have gained a level. And to show you the leveling up. Basically this right here, it tells you uh, whatever you can do. So I'm going to up my strength, up my health, and up my agility. That's going to give me more AP points, more strength, uh, and more health, of course. So now we're at the dogs. Essentially, that's what I wanted to show you guys, is basically the combat and the gameplay, kind of how it goes. Just regular quest givers and things like that. And this guy right here is going to tell you that uh, to ride the cart, you got to have like 100 nuts or something like that, which is the currency. Uh, you'll be able to buy equipment and things like that. And <laughs> the name of the game is Nurse Piglets. And you come over here to this little pile, there's some in there. 87 to be exact. So and I think with that, the nuts, I think I have 98, I need two more. Which of course with the equipment that I have, I'll be able to get it. But that's pretty much the way it goes. Um, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of strange characters that I've seen in here. Nur, what the fuck do you want? Maybe we can negotiate the trash. Negotiate my ass, just give me a hundred nuts sharp and keep walking. And then you say, I'll try to get that some. So you have to find that and see how it goes, um, but essentially that's the way the, the whole game plays out. I don't really know too much about the story as of yet. I know that the tours are coming and they're trying to eat your village basically, so you're trying to get everybody to safety at the fort where the military can protect them. So it seems like a pretty decent ARPG, um, post-apocalyptic of course, seems to be pretty decent. So don't forget to give me a like and a, and a subscri subscribe. and. Um, I will catch you on the flip side, guys.